all right viewers and subscribers welcome back to the coach's desk trusting that everybody is doing well and everybody is doing all right so people will be talking about elaine thompson era in this video and we'll be talking about what her husband uh sees as a very successful season for her all right before we get into the details people please remember to like the video share the content and also subscribe to the channel if you are new let's get right back into it now Elaine Thompson era, double Olympic champion, stepped into a new era when she walked away from the MVP track club in 2021 to be coached by her husband, Darren Era. Many persons did not believe that this would have happened. However, it happened and it is what it is. Now, not only did they walk away, but they established the new era track club. The husband and wife do a set out to extend thompson era's 2021 dominance over the sprints and in 2021 she ran the fastest time becoming the fastest woman alive 10.0 sorry 10.54 seconds over 100 meters at the prefontaine classic defeating some big names where jamaica get got uh one two three shelly and fraser price and sherika jackson now her husband and coach, Darren Era, said their expectations for 2022 were affected by a number of circumstances. Now, he indicated that this year, yes, 2022, was successful and he qualified that. He made mention of that. Uh, we made it through our first season. But based on our goals and expectations, we fell short. Given the situation we were in, based on injuries and a lot of discomforts and so on, we had to basically improvise. We went along. As we went along, I thought we did pretty well. What say you on that? Now, it's a lot to build on, and it was a learning experience because I believe in continuing improvement, said Darren Era. You know what I mean? Elaine Thompson uh, became the fastest woman alive, clocking 10.54 seconds in 100 meters to also set a national record. Could only manage to claim a bronze medal at this year's World Championship in Oregon, which was dominated by Shelly and Fraser Price. Uh, she got the bronze in a time of 10.181 seconds. Now, at the championship, she was seen as the only top athlete there without her coach. So, Basically, she was not getting, you know, the personal care or whatever it may be. Now, at the championship, she was unable to claim a medal in the 200 meter as well, which was very shocking to many fans out there. She finished seventh, 22.39 seconds, which was well off her 21.53 personal best, way below her standard, you know, but... After that disappointment, she went to the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham and she claimed the sprint double 100 meters, 10.95 seconds, 200 meters, 22.02. She was ecstatic. And at, in the same breath, she actually changed uh, kit sponsorship. She switched from Nike to Puma. Now, her husband, which is Darren, indicated that uh, he was looking forward to add more medals titles to the resume we definitely and, and this is what he said we definitely will win more medals and titles we see all the potential we see things that nobody else is privy to see i really expect a lot more in the future he said he said the setup of the truck club was you know to help um elaine achieve these personal goals and based on the situation um that you know was happening he took on the role of uh, coaching her and started that since, you know, she wanted a personalized setup where we just entered and registered the truck club. And it is only fitting era, era. So we just said, you know, new era truck club. <laughs> a nice play on word there. Now, Darren went on to say, people, that although the truck club assists others, other athletes to develop, they are not really looking to expand because the main focus is his wife. It wouldn't make sense to add too much. She's coming from a situation where if you want to put it as 
kind of like a manufacturing line in a sense. Wow. It is nothing that a custom towards a particular athlete and their goals and aspirations. If I were to be committed to other athletes, then it wouldn't be fair to them that we that when you know she's ready to leave, then I'm just up and gone. That is what Darren said. You know what I mean? On the other hand, many track and field enthusiasts have been questioning Darren's, you know, qualification. Uh, his coaching ability, him coaching Elaine and such the like. Now, he said, I've been involved in track and field since about age five. So I want people to get that straight. But maybe because of the situation now with Elaine, it is being highlighted. He said, you know, he worked with Racers Track Club before. Um, that is when Bert Cameron was there. He worked with uh, alongside Bert Cameron. He worked with the Cameron Blazers Track Club when Bert left and formed his own club. He worked with the Micro University and also St. Diego High School. And that is interesting because he's a past student of St. Diego High School where he ran track um, from about 20, 2012. He was a hurdler, yes, and he was a 400-meter runner. He was also a, a student athlete at Texas University. Texas Tech University, sorry. Um, he achieved a double, a double bachelor's degree in business administration and finance before he went on to, you know, Davenport University, where he attained a master's degree in healthcare management and finance. He said the critics do not bother him and he's working with his wife to bring more accolades. You know what I mean? So Darren basically is a, is, a, is a very smart young man and don't take him lightly in terms of his achievement. Um, he's, a, he's, a, he's a qualified individual and you can hear by his resume he has been around racers, Cameron Blazers, St. Jago and he was involved in track and field he ran track in the united states you know what i mean so he is no stranger to the realms of track and field you know what i mean he ran for jamaica as well uh in his youth days carved and such the like so he's no he's no no newbie to this thing um Let's see what will happen in the new season. It's another world championship year. We want to see what he does where Elaine's improvement is concerned. And he will have time because she's the only one he'll be working with. So let's see how that um, turns out, people. Um, what are your thoughts on this one? Thanks very much for tuning in. You know, stay safe. Until next time, peace out.